Good evening, everybody. Hello, good evening. You guys hear me? Hello? Can you guys hear me? ¿Me escuchan? ¿Me lo van a escuchar o no? Hello? Hello, hello? Can you hear me? ¿Me pueden escuchar? Hola, ¿me escuchan? Sigfrido, Mauricio, Eulice, Ricardo, Carlos, ¿me escuchan? Yes, yeah, teacher. Hello. Okay. How are you? Hello. Good, good. Thank you. Thank you for answering. Okay, good to see everybody. How are you today? Very busy. Busy? Ah. Yeah. Really? Why are you busy? Are you like at work or just lots of things at to work. do at home? At work? Yeah. I work. Ah, you're busy at work? Yeah. Oh, okay. I see. I see. Well, um, so that means that you haven't finished work? You're, you're still at, at your job? Uh, I think. Are, are you are you finished your job or you're still at your job? No, I finished. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, the moment in my house. Oh, good, good. I'm glad to hear that. Okay, excellent. All right. I'm I'm happy that um that you're now able to. Uh, be at home and relax a little bit. Okay. Um, how about the rest of you? How are you guys? How are you, Osman? Hello, teacher. Hi, how are you? Um, I'm great. Great? Oh, good. Thank you. I'm glad to hear I'm that. Great. What? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm good day in my job and whole activity complements and tomorrow relaxing day off. It's necessary mm. relax one day. Mm -hmm. I, I agree. <laughs> I agree. So why is tomorrow a day off? Yeah. So tomorrow is yeah, your day off? Tomorrow. Okay. So you work on the weekends. Yeah. Do you do you work on the weekends? Yeah. Oh okay. I was, yeah. I the last the last weekend I uh, I job in today. No relaxing as uh, tomorrow. Okay, okay, I see. So you only you only have one day off. Yeah. One one day a week. Yeah. And the next Sunday. Yeah. Hmm. I see. Okay. All right. Well, um I hope everything is okay. Um Okay. All right. Well, guys, um, welcome to today's class. I'm, I'm glad to, to see many of you, but I'm not sure about half of you because you're, I don't see you. I don't know if you're there. So if you can turn on your camera, that'd be wonderful. Really appreciate that.
Okay. All right. Okay. So what we'll do right now is we will take attendance. Okay. Just give me a moment. Okay, here we go. Ana Lorena Lovato. Ana Lorena Lovato. Carlos Alberto Dominguez. Present teacher. Wonderful, thank you. Carlos Ernesto Hernández Cepeda. Carlos Ernesto Hernández Cepeda. Carlos Mauricio Menjibar Caballero. Carlos Mauricio Menjibar Caballero. Edwin Antonio Quintero Sumaña. Present. Wonderful, thank you. Emerson Ulises Monroy Calix. Edwin Antonio, sorry, sorry. Emerson Ulises Monroy Calix. Eulice Torres Torres. Present. Thank you. Um, Ileana Rebeca Carpio Calderón. Iliana Rebeca Carpio Calderón. Jorge Antonio Sánchez Quiñones. Present teacher. Wonderful. José Bernardo López Montes. José Bernardo López Montes. José Carlos Arqueta Romero. Present. Excellent. Jose Salvador Bernal Quintanilla. Jose Salvador Bernal Quintanilla. Osman Atilio Serrano. Present. Juan Carlos Herrera Delgado. Thank you. Kevin Alfredo Lucero Menendez. Present. Great, thank you. Mauricio Antonio Velasquez. Present, teacher. Present, thank you. Mayra Cecilia Peña de Aparicio. No, Mayra Cecilia Peña de Aparicio. Nelson Alberto Peraza Mejía. Present teacher. Wonderful, thank you. Osman Enrique Hernández. Present teacher. Present, thank you. Rafael Alexander Serra Díaz. Rafael Alexander Serra Díaz. Ricardo Ernesto Pérez Acosta. Present teacher. Thank you. Sandra Abigail Bonilla Cano. Sandra Abigail. Sigfrido Ernesto Gómez Quinea. Present. Thank you. Wendy Maricela Ramírez Guevara. Present teacher, good evening. Good evening, Wendy. Mina Elizabeth Alvarez Garrigas. Okay, thank you. Irma Evelyn Rodriguez Torres. Irma Evelyn Rodriguez Torres. 
Amanda Leonela Zamora Miranda. Amanda Leonela Zamora Miranda. Okay. All right. Well, thank you guys for... Excuse me, teacher. Salvador right. present. Salvador what? Jose Salvador. Ah, Jose Salvador. Ah, Jose Salvador Bernal, Quintanilla. Yes. Okay. All right. Thank you. All right. So, guys, um, so we are going to continue with our class. Um, and remember, we yesterday we started talking a little bit about conditionals, um, third, uh, third conditionals, and we talked about using the past participle. Do you remember that? We talked about the past participle. Yeah, you remember that? Not so much. Yes, teacher. Yeah, you remember? Okay, good. Good, good, good. So what we're going to do right now is we're actually going to uh, play a little game of ping pong. How are you going to play ping pong? Very simple. All you're going to do is you're going to say a verb. And your partner is going to say the past participle of that verb. And then if the, your partner says the past participle of that verb, you are going to, uh, but so they're going to return it and they're going to say another verb and you're going to say the past participle of it. So we're going to play ping pong with verbs, basically, going back and forth. Does that make sense? Do we understand or no? For me, no, teacher. Sorry. Okay, no problem. All right, I'll, I'm going to give you an example. Mirna, let's say Mirna is my partner. Okay, so I'm going to play ping pong, a past participle with Mirna. All right, Mirna, past participle, part, ugh, sorry, past participle of C. So. Past participle. Has so. the... hmm? Seen. Oh, or seen, sorry. Has, yeah. has, but we need to add had or not? Just the past participle, the just, verb? Just one past participles. Okay. okay. Seen, sorry. Yes, that's okay. It's okay. All right. Now you give me a verb. Yeah. Right. Written. Um. Sleep. Sleep, sleep, slept. Yeah. <laughs> now, now you return it. Um, <clears throat> right. You you already but, told me right. Right, uh, right that um, mon uh, when you ride a bike. Oh, ride. Right. Yeah. Right. Okay. Ridden. Okay. Um. Um, eat. Eating. Do you see how it goes back and forth? Yeah. That's why I'm yeah. talking about ping pong, right? That's oh why it's God, like a, a ping pong. <laughs> exactly. It's a good yeah, exercise. I have to remember. <laughs> yeah, it's a yeah. good exercise because okay. it 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 makes you be on your on your toes, right? So like you're like oh like you have to, uh, you know, really be paying attention and doing it as quickly as possible, okay? So do you understand what we're doing here? Is it clear what we're gonna be doing? Yes, it's sure. Yeah? Honestly, it's clear that I understand that the problem is when I not remember the burden as far as it comes. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. All right, so um, I just wanna make sure that we're, that. I'm going to be able to get people to to work together. So, Carlos Alberto, are you in class? 
Yes, teacher. Okay, wonderful. Um, and what about Ricardo Ernesto? Ricardo Ernesto, are you gonna are you in class? No, Ricardo? Kevin, Kevin Alfredo? No, teacher, uh, I can't, I wouldn't uh, participate in, in this class. Okay. Um, okay, just a second. All right, um, Edwin, Edwin Antonio? Yes, I'm here. Yeah, okay, all right, perfect. Elisa Torres? Elisa? No? Carlos Ernesto? Carlos Ernesto Hernandez? Okay. Um, okay, so I'm going to give you about, mm, mm, let's make it about five minutes. So we're going to do five minutes of pure ping pong, okay? So we're going back and forth, okay? So you can use any verb. It can be regular or irregular, okay? Everybody's clear on what to do? Yeah? yeah? Yes, teacher. Perfect. All right, so I'm opening the groups right about now. Hello, Carlos Alberto. Hello, teacher. A mí me sacó de la plataforma, pero me volví a incorporar. Okay. Emerson, are you there? Emerson? Es que en teoría debería estar trabajando con Emerson. Pero... Quiero ver. Ah, ya entró. Ah, pues lo voy a. Ok, lo voy a volver a asignar. Un momentito. Son cuatro. Ok, ahí está.
Hello, Ana Lorena. Hello, teacher. Acaba de entrar, ¿verdad? Sí, teacher. Ando buscando los audífonos. Ok. José Carlos. ¿Qué pasó, José Carlos? ¿Con quién está usted? Oh, sorry. The light was off and then the internet too, so I lost my connection. Mm, okay, va. I went out from the okay. breakup rooms. But but you know what to do, right? You you know you understand the instructions? Yes, of course. Okay, we gotta perfect. try to say one verb in the simple way and the other partner have to take in past participle. Okay, perfect. So I'm going to send you right now to a group, okay? Thank you. Mm -hmm. Go. Yes. Pass possible is it's gone. Yes, yes. Okay. Okay. Is it a bird? Um grow. Grew. Grow. No, grown. Okay. Ah, grown. That's okay. Grown. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Awake. Awake. Mm -hmm. uh, past participle is a walk. A W O K E I E. That's okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Repeat, please. Awake. Awake. Is a walk. A W O K E. Awake. Ah, okay, see. Okay. A uh, B. 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 And there's to be. B. Mm, B. Pero estar B. B. I. I. I don't, I don't know. Past participle is being. Being, ah, being, being, ah, pues sí. Be, being. Yeah. Mm, este. Mm, eh, read. Repeat, please. <clears throat> R-E-A-D. Read. Uh, I don't remember. Um, what do you mean, read? Hmm? Ah, the air, uh, yeah. Read. Mm -hmm. Bread. Bread, yeah. Bread. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's correct. Uh, uh, C. C. 
sing. Wake. Sorry? Wake. No remember. Fast <laughs> is walk. Ah, okay. Walk, okay. I see it, but it's in past, right? Yes. Yeah, okay. Participle, I think, is walking. Walking, yeah. Way walk, walking. Okay. Other. Um, and this is very it's easy. Dry. Right. Um, drop. Drop. Yeah. Dropping. Drop it. Yeah. I want it to be Phil. Sorry. No, 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 When you touch something, you feel. Feel. no, 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 I think it's that. Mm, feel. Okay. Um, pass is fall. Mm, no. No. Uh, no. Sometimes the rule for this verb uh, could be uh, if the verb have has uh, to eat into the word you only for the past you only keep one e and the la last consonant is letter t i think for this is felt i write that Okay. Um, I remember the rule, but <laughs> Phil. No, yes. Mm. No other bird. You can choose. Um, fly, bird fly. Fly, um, it is flu. Flu, yeah. Okay. Yes, I think. The regular bird is complicated. <laughs> no, regular verbs no, sometimes. Is, no, regular verbs are not yeah. complicated because they are just exactly the same as the simple past. Yeah. So it's not actually complicated at all because they're exactly the same. Okay, does that make sense? Yeah. So if you know the simple past, you know past participle. That's That's actually... Very, very convenient. Uh, the regular verbs. Uh -huh. The regular verbs, this, the yes. past participle are is exactly the same as the simple past. I think it's easier. Yeah, yeah, I um, agree. The regular verbs. 
Yes, I agree. Mm -hmm. Sometimes uh, the regular verbs, uh, it's problematic when you want to uh, remember, but sometimes I, I remember the rules for some verbs and I, for, for record these verbs, I use the, the rule and associate some group of verbs to remember that. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to return to the main room in a moment, okay? I'll see you guys in the main room. Okay. Okay. All right, guys and girls. So how was your game of ping pong? How was it? Very useful. Very useful. Good. Interesting. You need yeah. to, to think a lot to use mm -hmm. the, the brain. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, you have to you have to definitely use your brain. That's for sure. Yeah. Okay. So do you feel that um that um you have understood this? It's okay. Yeah, do you do you feel that you understand the, the simple the sorry the past participle? Uh, yes, teacher. I think we understand, but we need practice more of these verbs because yes. uh, sometimes I I forget. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, um, yeah, exactly. You you definitely have to practice. Um, okay. Yeah, yeah. That's that's for sure. Um, just yeah, make sure that you are. Uh, practicing uh, regularly, you know. So what I would suggest you do, like something very simple that you can do is make like flashcards. Do, do you know what flashcards are? What? Flashcards. Do you know flashcards? Flash yeah. Flashcards. Do you know flashcards? No, teacher. No? No. Nobody knows flashcards? No, teacher. Okay. Um, so flashcards are like um small small cards that you can make um that will um um that you can you like put for example in your in your wallet. Okay, so what you can do with this is this, like, for example, you can put, like, you can make a small little card, maybe um, with like, uh, like colored, um, colored paper, and you put on one side, you can put um, the, the verb, like C, for example, and on the other side of the little piece of paper, you put the past participle, seen. And what you can do, so you can have these like little cards that you can put, they're small and you can take them anywhere you want. You can put them like in your wallet and then you can take them out uh, when you want to use them. For example, maybe you are in the bus, you're, you're taking the bus and there's nothing to do but just stare out the window. Why don't you take those little cards out, those flashcards and try to 
to remember, like you say, okay, see, I was the past participle, see, ah, yeah, seen. And then you turn it around, ah, yes, I was right. Um, or for example, take, take past participle of take, took. Turn around, oh no, it's incorrect, it's taken. So you can, you can um, like challenge yourself and, and test yourself by having like those little flashcards. Does that make sense? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Good. <coughs> Excuse me. Um. Yeah. So um. Yeah. Just um. Uh, try to. Um. Like try to to practice as many as you can, and um. I know there are a lot of them, especially when. When we're talking about the the irregular ones, the irregular verbs, um, you really have to learn the past participle. So, approx well in total, there's approximately two hundred irregular verbs. So yeah, th it's a lot to learn, but not impossible. Because if you think about it, if you have if you make yourself a goal of only learning five, that's it, only five. Um verbs a day and there are about 200 how long will it take you vamos a ver cómo está esa matemática if you learn five verbs a day and there's approximately 200 irregular verbs how long will it take you 40 days about 40 days yeah which is really not that long in 40 days, you've learned all of the past participles of irregular, which are the most difficult ones. The regular ones are super easy because regular ones are the same as a simple past, right? Um, so as long as you know the simple past, you know the past participle. So that's easy. So if, in, if you do that, if you apply only five, if you are learning five a day, and you probably already know at least a third of those already. So then it's in 40 days, you already have learned all of them. It's not that much. If you, if you look at it that way, it's really not that much. Five a day, is, it goes by quickly. Okay. Does that make sense? Yes, yes. Okay. Any questions? No? No. Okay. Um, all right. In that case, um, we are going to continue. All right. So, um, Please tell me if you can see my screen. Can you see my screen? Yeah. yeah? Okay. So just a, a little bit of a um, a review. Third conditionals. Oops, let's make this a little bit bigger. Okay, so third conditionals are conditionals that talk about past situations that didn't happen. So situations in the past that didn't happen, but we are imagining that it happened and imagining its results. Okay? So these are imaginary situations. These never happened. This is not true. None of these are true. We're just imagining. It's a hypothetical situation. 
Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. All right. So what is the structure? What is the structure? Well, the structure is this one right here. So if plus past part, sorry, plus past perfect, plus would, plus have, plus past participle. What is the past perfect? What is the structure of the past perfect? Who, remind, who can remind me of that? What is the structure of the past perfect? Subject. Yes. Plus? Auxiliary had. Had. Plus? Uh, verb in past participle. Good. All right. Exactly. So that's the that that is the how we can we create the past part so the past perfect. So if you notice, um, so if you notice. We're going to be using in this structure, we're going to be using the past participle twice. One for the if clause and the other one for the conditional, sorry, for the result clause. One for the conditional clause, one for the, um, the result clause. So that's why I am insisting on you learning the past participles because you're going to need it for the structure. If you don't understand, the past participle, this is going to be super hard. But if you understand this, it's super easy. Okay, so let's check it out. Let's see if you can identify it. So first one. So we have in the first sentence, if he had sent the files on time, the ship order would not have been delayed. So notice we started with if, which is the same here. Okay. After that, we use the past perfect, which in this case is had sent. Right? Then after that, we're going to be using wood, which over here is the same here, wood. And finally, we're using, uh, hold on. Have. And finally, the past participle. has been delayed. Oh, no, sorry. My mistake. My mistake. I've just been... Oh, we've just been... Been is the past part. Okay. Okay. Next one. The shipping order would not have been delayed if he had sent the files on time. So again, we are gonna start, well, actually here, you will notice that it's the same as this one, except that it's the opposite, <laughs> okay? I know that sounds a little contradictory, but, what I mean is something that we've already seen before. It's nothing new. So sometimes remember that we can start with the um, if clause or the conditional uh, clause. And sometimes we can start with the, con the, the result clause. Okay. If we start with the if clause or the conditional clause, we put a comma. If we start with the um, with the result clause, no comma. So in this case, we're starting with the result clause. 
And that's why you will see that we start with wood. In this case, it's negative, would not. Okay. Then we're using have. Okay. And then we're using the past participle, which in this case is been. And now we're going to be using the if clause or the conditional clause. So we're going to start with if here. After that, we have had sent. That's the past perfect. Okay. And everything else that is just that is in bold that I didn't highlight is simply a complement. Okay. So for example, delayed is a complement, it's actually an adjective. The files on time is also a complement. Okay. And like I said before, something to keep in mind is that if you are going to start with the conditional clause, then we're going to make sure that we are using a comma. Okay? But if we start with the the result clause, no comma. So this is exactly the same as the first conditional that we learned before. So you have the comma only if the word if is at the beginning, because the word if is supposed to be the connector, but because if is at the beginning, then we need to have the comma to connect them. Here, we don't use a comma because the if is in the middle, which is connecting the two clauses already. All right? Sounds good? Yes. Yeah. Something that I said that confused you more? You can tell me if I confused you more, that's okay. Teacher, mm -hmm. I have a question. In the, in the conditional AP3 only use uh, the model would only use. Only only use would not other model. Um, it's possible to use wood. Sorry, could. Yeah. It's possible. Okay. 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 Thank you. Mm hmm. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Anything else? Anything else? Teacher. Mm -hmm. Can can you give me other example, please? Another sentence? Yes, teacher, please. Okay, let's let's actually use the one that's here. 
in the first sentence over here. If she had checked the stock market report, she wouldn't have lost so much money. Okay, so here we're starting with the if clause. Okay, then we, according to this rule, we have to have the past participle. Sorry, the past perfect, sorry, which we do, which is had checked. Okay. After that, it says that we're going, we need to have would, and we do. In this case, we have the negative wouldn't. Okay. After that, it says that we need to have a have, which we do. Have. And then after that, we have past participle, which we do, which is lost. It's also possible to write the opposite. Uh, the, so change, right? So we could say she wouldn't have lost so much money if she had checked the stock market reports. There you go. So that's also another possibility. Now, in that possibility, we do not, and I'll repeat, do not use a comma. And the reason why we don't use a comma is because um, we started we, we have the if the if word in the middle to connect the two ideas. Here, the if is at the beginning, so that's why we need to have the comma right in the middle. Okay, does that help? Yes, teacher. Other question. Mm -hmm. What is the trans translation this sentence? Okay. In Spanish. Um, all right, before we do that, let me explain this part right here. Okay, let me explain. Just give me a moment. Okay, so um, basically, okay, so basically, the third conditional expresses sorrow or regret about the past. Do you understand sorrow or regret? sorrow or your regret it means that you you're like oh I wish we could do things differently in the past like oh I didn't like what happened I want to change the past but I can't I can't change the past but I wish I could change the past okay so you're you're expressing that you don't like what happened in the past all right, you're expressing that that um, you would that you would like to have the opportunity of changing the past to have a different result, even though obviously that's not possible. That's why it's an imaginary situation. It's not real. This is not real at all because you can't change the past. It's impossible to change the past. So we're just imagining that it is possible. And we're imagining how the results would be. It's like in you. It's like it's like if I say in Spanish, um, "Si yo hubiera ahorrado dinero, 
desde que empecé a trabajar. Ahora podría comprar mi casa sin tener que pedir a los bancos, por ejemplo. I don't know, something like that. Uh, can I change that? Can I change? Can I go to the past and, and save? No, I can't. I can't do that. But I'm imagining that I could change the past. And if I change the past, then the present or the, even, even the past would be different. Right? Okay. Um, yeah, so, or but in this case, the conditional is like the past affects the past. So, so basically it's like, um, so si, si yo hubiera ahorrado dinero desde que empecé a trabajar, no hubiera tenido que pedirle prestado a los bancos. So the past affects the past because I did, I did ask the banks for money. Si les pedí dinero. So en el pasado, les pedí dinero al banco en el pasado. Entonces, si en el pasado hubiera yo empezado a ahorrar, entonces en el pasado no hubiera tenido que pedirles dinero a los bancos. Do we understand? Mm, I get it, teacher. Yeah? Yes. Okay. Good. So if I so let's let's see this. If he had sent the files on time, the shipping order would not have been delayed. How do you say that in Spanish? If he had sent the files on time, the shipping order would not have been delayed. Si hubiera pagado tiempo, no se hubiera demorado. Si, si qué? Si lo hubiera pagado a tiempo, no se hubiera demorado. ¿Pagado? Aquí dice sent. What is sent? Uh, enviado. Si hubiera enviado, enviado los archivos a tiempo, mm -hmm. eh, la orden de envío no se hubiera demorado. Exactly. Yes. Si hubiera mandado los, uh, los archivos a tiempo, la orden de envío no se hubiera demorado. Entonces, ¿puedo cambiar de que se, se mandar, no se mandaron los los documentos, los, los um, archivos a tiempo, no, eh, no puedo cambiarlo, pero me imagino, me estoy imaginando que esa parte del pasado lo pudiera cambar, cambiar. En ese caso, también hubiera cambiado el pasado. Que en este caso, la orden de bio se demoró. Entonces, esa parte de haberse demorado en el pasado no hubiera pasado, no hubiera existido. Look at this other sentence here. If the manager hadn't intervened, the employees would have regretted a bigger, sorry, would have created a bigger conflict. So the same thing here. So we have if, first we have the if, then we have the um, past perfect, which is in the negative, hadn't intervened. Okay. After that, we use would, in this case, the negative would in the negative, would not. Oh no, sorry, sorry, no, my mistake, my mistake. Let me, let me correct that. Just hat would. And after that, we're using have. And the past participle of create, well, that's easy because create is a regular verb, so it's created, Sim the same as a simple past. Okay, so what does that mean in Spanish? If the manager hadn't intervened, the employees would have created a bigger conflict. What does that mean? Si el jefe no hubiese intervenido, los empleados hubieran creado un gran conflicto. 
o un conflicto mayor. ¿Hubieran creado un conflicto? ¿O un conflicto más grande? Más grande. Uh -huh. O mayor. Yeah, exactly. Okay. If she had, if she had checked the stock market reports, she wouldn't have lost so much money. What does that mean in Spanish? Si ella Si ella Si ella no hubiera chequeado el o revisado el Si ella no hubiera no si ella, si ella hubiera... no hubiera perdón si ella hubiera re revisado el reporte de inventario stock market what stock market the stock market es el reporte ¿El de, de supermercado de supermercado no stock, no, stock market stock market what mean the stock market El inventario, no. <laughs> stock market. What is stock market? ¿Alguien sabe qué es stock market? Bolsa de valores. Bolsa de valores, exactly. Ajá. Ah. Uh -huh. So. La bolsa, el reporte de la bolsa de valores. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Exactly. So, si ella hubiera revisado. Revisado. El reporte de la bolsa de valores. Ajá. Uh -huh. No hubiera perdido demasiado dinero. Exactly. Ella no hubiera perdido demasiado dinero. O, o tanto dinero. Uh -huh. Ya. Yeah. So, per, sí perdió dinero. No podemos cambiar eso. Y per, lo perdió en el pasado. Entonces, si ella hubiera revisado en el pasado la bolsa de valores, el, el reporte de la bolsa de valores, entonces, ella no hubiera perdido tanto dinero in it. So, sounds good, everybody? Do we understand this? Yes, teacher. Yeah? Any questions? Okay. All right, so what I'm going to do is I will give you a chance there to complete these exercises. Okay. So complete the third conditional sentences. We um, we already analyzed this one to begin with. Okay. Um, and I will send you guys to breakout rooms so you guys can complete this. Sounds good? Do we understand what to do? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Good, good, good. All right. Um stop sharing. And I'm gonna send it to you via the WhatsApp group. So just be patient with me while I send it to you guys. Just a moment. Please tell me when you are able to see my the image. You see it? Okay. 
Hello? Inside, can you see it? Yes. Okay, good. All right, so I'm gonna send you with the same group as before. So not a group, it's actually we were working with a partner. So I'll send you with the same partner so you guys can complete these exercises, okay? All right, everybody understands what we're doing? Yes, no. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay, I'm open in the rooms right now. ¿Qué pasó, Osman? Lo llevo a otro lugar. Ah. Ok. No, no, teacher. Just, I'm only waiting. Ok, I will, I will send you right now to, to another group. Ok. Um, Kevin Ulises, are you there? Yes, teacher. Yeah. Are you going to be able to participate, Ulises? No, uh, I tried to talk with Osman, but Osman, I can hear you, hear me. Osman, are you there? Yeah, teacher, in this moment. I'm Perfect. Sorry. It's okay. All right, so you guys can work together, okay? Okay. Okay, very well. Um, okay, the question number one. And number two, right? Okay. Justin not attend on the meeting. He meets the Chinese to get promotion. Okay. He not attend them. And I think the the correct sentence for me is if Tim hadn't attended uh, the meeting, he would have missed the chance to get a promotion. Do you agree, Hosman, or not? This case is in pass. 
no had no attend is a uh, hang attends attendance. Aren. Aren. Yeah. Is uh, thing no having the meeting he would have missed the chain. Would have the yeah. would have the chance to get a promotion. For me, yeah. it's okay. Yeah. This is. Yeah. Oh. And the. Yes. Yeah. Okay. You're right. Yeah. Yeah. If the agent. Okay. Next question. No oh, next. If is the agent understand more actively, he understand the customer wise. If the agent okay. again, sorry, had had uh, had, had, had listened, listened, listened more attentively, he wouldn't yeah. have. Will have no he hold he hold he will understand the customer request no 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 no, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay uh, I you think is the uh, agent okay? Is the agent wouldn't no um, wouldn't have listened? No. Is the agent no. Had, mm, this is in, if the agent had listened? Is passing if is past verb. Mm. Are you guys finished? I have been done the homework since the morning. And my co-worker, Jose Bernardo, sent a message to the WhatsApp group, and he said that he is in the hospital. Oh. First of all, I was trying to connect him. I was calling Jose Bernardo, Jose Bernardo, and after that, I saw in WhatsApp group, and he said that he is in the hospital with her mother. Okay. All right. Okay. Did you did you already complete the exercises though? Yes, yesterday and the day and today in the morning I end up. Excellent. Okay. All right. I'm actually going to bring everybody back to the main room, so they'll they'll be okay. Okay. All right. Nice. Okay, all right, guys and girls, uh, we're going to be checking the answers. Um, did everybody have the chance to to complete them, or do you have any questions about them? Do you need more time? Yes, in our group, in our group, so we miss number five and six. Okay. What about the other groups? Are you okay with the time or do you need more time? 
with the own group is Garrett, Emerson, and Carlos. Okay. All right, so are you okay with us checking at this moment? Yes. Okay, let's check then. Okay, so. If Tim. Hi, Tim. And in what? Attended. Good. If Tim hadn't attended the meeting, he would have, have missed. Would have, have missed. Missed. Would have missed. Yes. He would have missed a chance to get a pro a promotion. So far, so good. We understand this. Yes. Yeah. Yes, teacher. Yes. Yes. Okay. One second, guys. Estoy tratando de adaptar a esto porque creo que ya le había explicado que que Zoom ha cambiado el formato y Okay, bueno, no se puede cambiar. Okay, let's continue then. Um, if the agent had listened, had listened more attentively, he he would he wouldn't have he wouldn't understood. have understood. He wouldn't have. Is that correct? He would wouldn't have? have understood. Good. Would have. He would have understood. Okay. So far, so good. We understand this? Yes, to sure. Any questions at this point? Okay, perfect. Let's move on to the next one. Um, if Frank had uh, known, had known, if Frank had known, you were at the office. He who how had told told. But would have told. He would have told you to stay work to stay in work late hours. If the company hadn't had had them hadn't invested invested good. It's a regular verb, so invested. If the company hadn't invested in a big building, we. We would we'll have, 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 have we would have 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 had good we would have had to share cubicles and the last one if Mrs. Jenkins had talked had talked about just with booting her money about, and fire. Good about Jeff bullying, bullying her. Manager Good. Park bullying her. would have, would have done. done. Would have, have done. Good. Would have done something about about. All right. What do you guys think? You got it or you're confused.
Any questions? No, it's all clear. Uh, Emerson. Hi, Miss. I have a question uh, about the platform. Uh -huh. I see it. I write the, the same uh, answers in the platform, but uh, they are uh, wrote. Including the including the the first first example, this is one is if she have a second. If she what? In the first example number one. Uh -huh, uh -huh. If if she had checked. If she had checked. I I wrote the same form. Uh, and always is. Okay, so how about if we do this, Emerson? Send in the WhatsApp group the um, the screenshot of your answer, and maybe I will be able to detect what's the problem. Sounds good. Okay. Okay. Thanks. All right, very good. Okay, let's uh, continue, guys and girls. Um, anything else you want to ask about? Goes all clear? Okay, all right. Good. Okay, so that is about the third conditional. Now, yesterday we were talking a little bit about um, emotional intelligence. Do you guys remember that? You guys remember about emotional intelligence? Yes, teacher. How would you be able to describe emotional intelligence from what you have, what we read yesterday, and what you already know? How would you describe emotional intelligence? What does emotional intelligence look like? Maybe it's a capacity of control or manage the emotion. Uh, for one specific situation, control your uh, character, maybe. You mean your personality? To control your personality? Yes, your expression, your answer. Okay, all right. Very good, thank you very much, Ana Lorena. What about the others? Do you want to add to that? What do you understand by emotional intelligence? In my case, teacher, emotional mm -hmm. intelligence is the way that you handle that situation and where you create feedback in a positive way to, to manage that situation. Okay. All right, very good. Um, all right, very good. Anything else? Also, mm -hmm. hey, um, when you uh, manage your emotion and your character, um, also you can try um. Uh, with the different people and you have empathy with a different situation or or people. Mm -hmm. uh, also, you can manage the different problem and situation in your life, not only in your work, 
um, you can motive, uh, motivate. Yeah, motivate the your co-workers or your partners, and you can uh, manage the different trouble in your life, and you uh, can be uh, different results when you when you have a uh, any problems. Okay, very good. Thank you, Jorge Antonio. Okay. Anything else? Anything else that you understand by is by emotional intelligence? Yeah, teacher. Mm -hmm. In my case, uh, I think we have to know our emotion um, to be able to manage the emotion of other. Mm -hmm. Sorry, could you repeat? You have to know what? Uh, we have to know our emotion. Oh, mm -hmm. uh, to be mm -hmm. to be able to manage the emotion of other. Okay, very good. Okay, excellent. So it first starts with us, then, right? Yeah. So we can't we can't manage. We can't um, deal with someone else's emotions if we can't do our own first right that's emotional intelligence so we we have to start with our own selves right um so when we are when we start blaming other people when we start saying oh you know i this happened because of him this happened because she did this or you know, if she if she hadn't done this, then it wouldn't. You know, if we start thinking about that things happen badly because of other people. Are we being emotionally intelligent? Are we showing more emotional intelligence if we start blaming other people? What do you guys think? Tough question? <laughs> hmm. What do you guys think? We start blaming other people. Are we being emotional intelligent? I don't. Wow, it's it seems like I, I just asked you the like this like a very complicated quantum physics question. Yeah. <laughs> what do you guys think? Is it emotionally intelligent if we start blaming other people? In negative way, maybe you emotional but in negative way because when you blame it's not you use the emotional intelligence but in a bad way I think this is opinion <laughs> it, so emotionally intel, emotional intelligence is that is it possible to to have emotional intelligence and be negative? No. No, right? No, no. Because emotional intelligence means that we that it's something good, right? So if we if if you if you are emotionally intelligent, that's something very good, that's positive. Okay? So yeah. You 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 can't be emotionally intelligent or or better said you can't have emotional intelligence and um and act incorrectly because then you wouldn't have emotional intelligence if you're acting incorrectly 
if you're doing things wrong, then you don't have emotional intelligence. Emotional intelligence is 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 directly related to the way you act and the way you think. Does that make sense? Yes, we always use in, in positive form, not in yes, negative form. Exactly. Because in negative form now exceeds emotional intelligence because mm -hmm. you can use your main or your strategic in your life or for for things that happen. But right. when you use uh, other things that in bad way is not emotional intelligence. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yes. So does that make sense for everybody? No? Yes? There's like this, there's this big question mark on all of your faces. And I'm just trying to figure out why. <laughs> What's going on? Tell me. Are you, are you trying to figure out what is emotional intelligence? Or you're just not sure about it? You don't agree with it? Tell me, what are your thoughts? Are you shocked by emotional intelligence or what's going on? Tell me, share your thoughts. Is one person is able to control his character and showing um, others the the things with empathy or or or, or good uh, communication with them okay good yeah so emotional intelligence is basically how you handle both your emotions the other people's emotions your own your own actions you can't you can't um handle other people's actions right that's something you it's impossible you can't handle what they do okay you can only handle their emotions okay you can only understand their emotions and try to work with their emotions but you can't you can't uh you you can't handle you can't uh directly have control over a person's um the other person's actions but what you can do is have control over your own actions okay so once again i go back to the same question is it possible um to be emotionally intelligent if I am blaming other people. Sorry, she didn't catch that. Could you repeat, okay. please? Of course. <laughs> Am I showing that I am emotionally intelligent if I am blaming other people? You're blaming other people, you don't use your emotional intelligence, you use other things or because when you damage or when you try to to damage other person, you don't use your emotional intelligence. Is to use other things like a, um, like a, I don't know, bad person. <laughs> I don't know. 
But you know, you don't uh, you don't use the emotional intelligence because you're blaming other person. Right. Exactly. That's that's pretty much what I'm trying to get at. Okay. So whenever you are blaming another person, you're not emotionally intelligent. Why? Because blaming another person for something is basically saying, is being very simplistic and saying that you have nothing to do with it, that you have nothing, like you have no control over anything. And that's not true. You have control over two things for yourself, which is one, your own emotions. You can control your own emotions. You can have, or, or you can handle your own emotions. And you can also handle your own behavior. Okay? So even though a person may be acting in an incorrect manner, but you have control over your own emotions and your own behavior. Okay? So you can contribute for that situation to have a good result, a very like a uh, positive result or something catastrophic pretty much. Okay? So you are ha you're half of the equation there. Right? You can either make the situation better or make the situation worse. Okay? First of all, second of all, if you are blaming another person, you're basically saying that that person, um, what th that you're, you're making things very simplistic for that person, saying that that person um, simply is always a bad person, uh, that they just wanted to do things badly, that you're they, that they were doing things to make your life worse, when in reality, everybody has their is is their own world, basically. And the reason, or people act a certain way because they're going through certain things, because they have certain emotions. They may not act the best way, but if you understand, for to, to give you an example, let's say that um, a person, like, okay, so, to, to give you an example about, remember that we were looking at the situation of the, I forgot the, the, I think, I don't remember what her name, I don't know if we gave her a name, but that she was, um, she made a mistake on the reports. Um, and then the company lost the money. Do you remember? They lost the opportunity of an investment. Do you remember that? Do you remember that? Yes. Do you guys remember that that we talked about that situation? Yes, I remember. Yeah. Okay. So, if we just say, "Oh, it was her fault," you know, "Oh, she she did a really bad job." Okay. Maybe she didn't do a good job, but was she doing it on purpose? Was she being she was she trying to be a bad person and make the company lose? What should what what do you think that? Do you think she was trying to be a bad person? No, I think in no. that case it just was a mistake. It was a mistake that she, that she did, but it's not the situation don't define that she is bad or good person, I think. It's... Right. Okay. All right. So okay, so we we understand that she didn't have a bad motive. So what could have happened to her? Do you think maybe that she, uh, maybe she, that day that she made the report, she was having a bad day? Maybe she hadn't slept very well? Maybe could that have happened to you? Could you, and maybe if you had been in her same shoes, do you think that maybe it could have happened to you? What was really going on with her? Maybe she was having problems at home. 
and you know she just couldn't concentrate very well so that's emotional intelligence see we're late so we're not concentrated on blaming a person but actually trying to see beyond that and trying to find a solution okay so there was a mistake that was made okay it didn't was not the best thing yes it affected everybody yes but okay should we understand that she wasn't trying to be a bad person she wasn't trying to affect people she did but it wasn't her, it wasn't something she was doing on purpose and it could have happened to me as well all right so let's so that that happened that's that's part of the past so what can we do now well we can maybe help her out maybe we can train her maybe she made a mistake because she didn't have the proper training so let's train her let's help her see that's emotional intelligence does that make sense yes did you yeah so we're we're away from that let's blame the other person it was his it was his it was because of him no okay yes people make mistakes yes people act in a bad way yes they do but emotional intelligence is not is trying to understand what happened why it happened what's What's my emotions about it? What am I going to do? But also, what about the other person? What's their, what's going on with them? What's their emotions? Why did they act this way? Why didn't they act this way? What can be done now about the situation? Okay? Does that make sense for everybody? Yes? Yes, did you? Okay, good. So if we understand that, it'll be easier for us to do this activity, the following activity. I am, um, hold on. I'm going to send you guys in the WhatsApp group a document. Just give me a moment. Will I attach it? So what this this document is, it's a document about conflicts at the workplace, which is something everybody goes through, right? Everybody has conflicts at the workplace. So these are very common um conflicts and what we're going to do is I'm going to get you to work again with your partner and you're going to be discussing the conflicts okay we're going to read the conflicts for each conflict there will be uh, there's a, it's, a, it's a pdf file so we have basically three conflicts per page there are three pages and nine in total so read the conflicts and discuss how can we show emotional intelligence in each scenario? Does that make sense? Yes, teacher. Yeah. So you will see there are nine conflicts. Okay. Each conflict is something to do with the workplace. And you're going, you have a space as well on um, to write about your possible solution for each situation all right if it, the file looks like this let me show you So this is what it looks like, okay? So conflict resolution scenarios, interpersonal studies. So we have the first, for example, the first one says, George works very hard as a restaurant cook and feels that the other cooks are not carrying their weight. So in other words, they're not doing what they're supposed to do. 
This is causing conflict among the cooks. George decides to talk about the about the other cooks with the waitresses. So in other words, he starts talking badly about the other cooks to the waitresses. This causes tension and conflict among the employees at the restaurant. So let's try to use emotional intelligence. How can we solve this problem? Do we understand what we're gonna be doing? Yes, no, maybe. Teacher, we have to write that the result that we are thinking about the, the situation. How to solve the situation? The solve, okay. Yeah, how to, uh, how to solve this, uh, the conflict? In a um, in an emotionally intelligent way. Okay, thank you. Okay. There are many. There, this is just the first one. That if you notice, there are many. See that? There. That's it. That's up to. I know. Wait. So oops, sorry. There's more. There are four pages. Sorry. So there are twelve in total. Okay. All right. I'm gonna stop sharing. And I'm gonna get you, I'm gonna send you to the breakout rooms for you to work on this. All right. Okay. I'm opening the groups right about now. We need we need we need location. Okay. Where um uh, I think we we can read the first situation. Yes. Okay. To understand very well. George work works very hard as a restaurant cook. And first, the other cooks are not carrying their weight. This is a this is a causing conflict among the cooks. George decides to talk about the other cooks with the waiters. Waiters, this causes tension and conflict among the employees at the restaurants. What what uh, they understand? I'm reading. Wait a moment, please. Oh. Oh, George uh, said that. Uh, said the feelings to the co-workers and <laughs> the situation cause cause or make that that the environment um, a, a conflict environment mm -hmm. uh, or um, tenso no eso sí no sé cómo se but uh, in my opinion, uh, is the correct 
quick way to express. Mm, yeah, but but mm, maybe only with the boss. Yes. I think so. Because the other co-workers uh, it's not a good idea. <laughs> hey, what is the what do you understand when say they are not carrying carrying the weight? Yes, equilibrate the different activities. Yeah. Because uh, maybe George work uh, very hard and the other partners or the other co-workers no but yours uh, have a mistakes because I think uh, if you have a problem then the first time you go with the manager go with the boss and talk about with this problem and George yeah. uh, only talk about with the with the waitresses and maybe for me uh, it's not a solution. Uh, uh, this situation uh, causes uh, more problems because you um, have a, a relation with um, many peoples, not only the other cooks. Yeah. Yeah. And he, George, is a problematic situation. Yes. Uh, he had the more the more activity and responsibility in the job and other co-worker a little responsibility. Mm, yes. Yeah. Okay. In number two, um, Mar Mary did not receive the promotion she felt she deserved. She decides to deliver the deliberately instigate a work slowdown, which deliberately. Turn, sorry. Deliberately. Deliber deliberately. Yeah, deliberately. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Instig instigate a work slowdown, which in turn casts the supervisor in a bad light. As a result, and and due to the fact that it was a slow month, all employees' hours have been re reduced. Hmm. What is the liberty teacher? On purpose. Okay. So not by mistake, but on purpose. Okay. Well, in, in this case, is I don't know, it's difficult because you, if you are a manager, um, you try to motivate um, these employees for the were the same uh, um on, I don't know um Mary is uh, work uh, slow down this uh, trabajo desgano yeah yeah similar And this came already no motivation. The mm -hmm. the other promotion, the other other uh, situation in your job, and this uh, because is the the prestation that the in the in is not correct or or no no superly your um. Uh, he's not motivated on she's Just not motivated on the, the responsibility or other other 
Yeah, yeah because, because this attitude for she, uh, in, in this case, this attitude uh, affect the company because uh, them say the result uh, is uh, is was slow in this month, mm -hmm. yeah. And I think that if you are a manager, talk about with That's this employee, okay. try to motivate, yeah. Uh, in this case, it's a conditional the job. Maybe. The condition that no motivate on Maria accept the for the promotion. Okay. Yeah, but I think that uh, you try to motivate to to work in the in the in the same way or the same form. Um, the promotion is very important for, uh, in this case, for she, for Mary. But if you are a manager, you you try to motivate for the different employees. Uh, continues with the same work because if you don't, uh, uh, if you can't uh, motivate your employees. Uh, the probably the results uh, are so bad, not only in this month, yes, probably uh, continues for um, most time. In the future? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, it's good. Okay. Okay, all right guys. So I'm pretty sure you didn't finish all of them, right? Right? You didn't finish all of them. Almost. <laughs> Almost. Oh, wow, okay. All right, uh, but don't worry because we will have a chance to complete, to continue with this tomorrow, okay? So what I'll do is I'll just, um, Make sure that that um, I put you back into the same groups as you were before. And that way, just well, actually, just give me a moment. Um. Just a second, guys. Okay, so um, what I'll do right now is take attendance. Oh, by the way, Hosman, um, today would be your turn to stay. So if you could stay, that'd be wonderful, okay? All right, so let's uh, quickly take attendance. Oh, what happened here?
Okay, there it is. All right. Uh, Ana Lorena Lobato, Orellana. Present teacher. Excellent. Thank Present. You. Yes, gotcha. Okay. Um, Carlos Alberto Dominguez Martinez. Present teacher. Carlos Ernesto Hernández Cepeda. Carlos Ernesto. Carlos Mauricio Menjibar Caballero. Okay. Um, Edwin Anton, eh, Antonio Quintero Sumaña. Edwin Antonio Quintero Sumaña. Emerson Ulises Monroy Calix. Yes. Okay, very good. Uh, Ulises Torres Torres. Present. Thank you. Um, Iliana Rebeca Carpio Calderón. Iliana Rebeca Carpio Calderón. Jorge Antonio Sánchez Quiñon, eh, Quiñones. Present. Wonderful. Jorge Antonio Sánchez Quiñón. Ah, oh, no, sorry. Eh, José Bernard, Bernardo López Montes. Okay, Jose, so Jose Bernardo López Montes, who's there? Eh, Jose Carlos Argueta Romero. Present. Very good. Uh, Jose Salvador. Mm, here I am, teacher. Okay, very good. So that's Jose Salvador Bernal, Bernal Quintanilla and Josman Atilio Serrano. Present. Very good, thank you. Um, Juan Carlos Herrera Delgado. Present. Kevin Alfredo Lucero Menéndez. I repeat. Um, Kev Kevin Alfredo Lucero Menéndez. Mauricio Antonio Velázquez. Present teacher. Very good. Um, Mayra Cecilia Peña de, de Aparicio. Mayra Cecilia. Nelson Alberto Peraza. Present. Wonderful, thank you. Uh, Osman Enrique Hernandez. Present teacher. Great. Uh, Rafael Alexander Serna Díaz. Rafael Alexander. Ricardo Ernesto Pérez Acosta. Ricardo. Present Sandra... teacher. Oh, wonderful. Sandra Vigail Bonilla Cano. Sandra Vigail. Sifrido Ernesto Gómez. Sifrido yes, Ernesto teacher. Gómez. Okay, thank you. Wendy Marisela Ramirez Guevara. Present teacher. Thank you. Mina Elizabeth Alvarenga. Present. Thank you. Irma Evelyn Rodríguez. Irma Evelyn. And uh, Amanda... Leonela Zamora Miranda. Excellent teacher. Excellent, thank you. Okay, so that's gonna be all. Um, I'm just gonna stay with Osman and that's it. I will see you guys tomorrow, okay? So have a good night. You too, have right. a good bye night, bye. everyone. Good right. night, teacher. Good night. Eh, Kevin Alfredo, Jose Bernardo, Carlos Ernesto. Do you guys have any questions?
¿No? Creo que se quedaron tramados ahí. <laughs> ok, all right. Ok, Josman. Hello. Um, how are you doing? How, how is the platform? Yeah, the platform is a complement the millet. The finish and the section one and two finish stamp. Oh, you already finished? Uh, all, all of section millet. one and two and the, and the midterm? Yeah. Okay, wonderful. Do you have any problems, any questions that you want to ask? Yeah, uh, I have the I, I, I have the problem that yeah I have the problem in the in the section number activity number uh, two point eight because the in class the result the uh, result the the problem the situation that is and is this moment correct uh, correct the the platform I think it's. Oh, okay, so you you already uh, corrected the problem in the platform. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So nothing else that you need. No, for this moment, no teacher. You sure? Okay. So so everything you yes. everything in the, in the midterm is finished. You didn't. You don't have any questions about that. Uh, no, uh, the question uh, in the class uh, today, you're uh, in the um, the if that uh, the tema de hora. Uh -huh. Today's topic. Uh, <clears throat> because the cloud, uh, yeah, and the topic uh, cloud is that do the that do us and resolve the problem. Oh, uh, the, the thing, the typical, yeah, uh, is uh, correct. Okay, so, so you were able to, so with, with today's explanation, you were able to understand the topic well. Yeah. Perfect. Okay, okay, good, good, good. All right, so there's nothing that I can help you with, Postman? Um, no teacher in this moment, uh, in the, uh, sorry, in uh, this moment, right in my house, the in the class, um, uh, another the question and no vocabulary. Uh, I write, practice new vocabulary and, and no, no, no this moment because it's necessary more more practice and more speaking and listening. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, good. Do you do you want more practice with listening and would you would you want more practice with listening? Do you want more practice with listening? And yeah, uh, I need uh, in my case I need more more practice and uh, speak it than listen it. To, to... <laughs> oh, okay, okay. So you prefer more speaking because the, I I I practice a uh, new book. Okay. Okay, so um, definitely, um, I have a question for you. Do you do you have um, like coworkers that you can practice with? Do you have coworkers? No, in my no. case, no. No work no. coworkers you can no. practice with, or what about I'm, at home? I'm, I'm, Uh, no, in my case is uh, 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 in the day, every day I I uh, I listen to to music, 
sprung in English because the lead listener and uh, vocabulary every day and writing and pronunciation. A more vocabulary, more uh, more more uh, speaking. This is my my opportunity every day. More and no practice a uh, conversation. Uh, in my case, in my in my job, no no worker, no no students. Okay, but what about um at um. What about in your house? Do you do you practice at home? Do you have family members that you can you can practice with? Like, do you have any relatives? Uh, with my 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 son. Okay. Yeah, in my case, in opportunity the weekend, my my son, yeah, okay. he's a uh, student in English. And in week, uh, you lie in San Salvador because the university is studying the university. And so on Sunday and on Sunday or Friday in the night, in a place uh, uh, in English. Okay. 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 Uh... Yeah, so tr try. Hello, hello. So, so try to um, pra practice at home with your son and everything. Um, if it's possible, try to speak to him in English, only in English. Forget about Spanish. Yeah. Forget about it. Everything, just make your house in English. Yeah. It's going to be very useful for him, too. Not just for you, but for him, too. Um, yeah. Um, practicing the... Uh, how do you say grabar? Grabar? Record? Jesse? Record? Record. Thank you. Uh, and... And uh, record, yeah, and, and practice and record um, and, and my pronunciation in the in my cell phone. Let it review the 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 speaking and pronunciation. This is a practice for me two or three days in the week. <laughs> it's the for the practice in in, in, in every day. Hmm. Good. Good. Excellent. That's very because very good. English is inserting a more book, a more book. In English, is an important practice every day. Uh, new vocabulary every day. Exactly. A more vocabulary, more fac uh, facility expression. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And pronunciation. Eh, very. Very. Yeah. Excellent. Good. Good. Good for you. Good for you. Okay. Well, anything you else you need. Osman, just let me know. Okay, let me know if, if if there's something I can help you with. Okay. Did you hear me, Osman? Okay. Escucho? Si, si me escucho o no? Mm, uh, so ya me ha cortado, teacher. Okay. Lo último, si no le entiendo. Que si hay algo con lo que yo le puedo ayudar, déjeme saber. Ah, ok. Ok. De acuerdo, teacher. Ok. All right. Ok, Josman, take care and um, see you tomorrow. Okay, bye-bye.